the reason why Tart Wheels are doing, but you know what's in there. We're talking about this. What for my doing? Anyways. Hey, I mean, just for me, I'm gonna talk about the XJW Marvel stuff that keeps happening. Why? Because I need a hot topic right now, and finally, people won't, won't be quite mad. So, I'm gonna throw my hat in, 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 into the swing. So, I'll do my thoughts on this interesting, interesting topic. Alright, see ya. I just saw my intro, I think you can tell I didn't want to talk about this topic. Why? Well, mostly because this topic been talked to death. But see, I've already been talking about this topic, I know for my doing. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the whole XJW situation at Marvel Comics. Now, you're probably saying, tell me, what does Sergeant Jay Warrior? I'm glad you asked. Um, Sergeant Warrior is, and I quote, <laughs> is a pejorative term for an indiv individual for more social progressive views in confederalism, civil rights, and multiculturalism, as well as identity politics. The accusation of someone is necessarily carries implication that she or he is pursuing the values in writing any deep sea conviction. And getting in this in his arguments. End quote. Yeah, like that that the quote and so basically the term de definition of the warrior is not, so not bad. The problem one it's been not even been mistreated and like changed to the point uh, to the point that it doesn't it, it matter anymore. The whole the whole terminology behind it is just stupid. Now do now do my saying um I put whole up to Joe you stuff in general. Um, but certain fandom civil rights and multicultural, that's fine. That's cool. I'm saying, I know the problem is now is that Marvel, Marvel has been taking that content and twisting it to bring their own self interest. Example of this America. What was the point of Edwin Chavez? Answer. Then that book was, say, with me, Alan, garbage. But you get none of the story based thing. The art was horrible. The language grew bad. The it was racist. And part of that story over there in America was just, just stupid. Like, right. that, that is bad, basically, that is really bad at the incident crap. Another, another pair of examples, you know, is Breeding Cool with, when they had Eva Van Skyver, because, oh, like, that is not mind being in itself, but oh, Eva Van Skyver situation, I mean, Eva Van Skyver side, I support him 100%. Screw, screw Breeding Cool. Breeding Cool with Johnson is just a complete a jerk. And actually want to be like, support it today, crap. Like, look, I'm not trying to say Marvel Comics is all bad. No, but right, the problem why Marvel keeps pulling actually those crap and saying, I'm a good time, like on Wolverine. And we need, well, we need about a different story altogether. You get my point. Like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say all Marvel Comics today, it's not. There's a problem why it's more comments in the last past five years, or six years in the RNC, um, had been actually crap, non non stuff, like, like, so an identity project down our throats. But, but I get it. More comments, which will do up in the real world. Fine. I can buy it. But it's in the real world, oh, death matters. But the problem was, every time we get it, after a good story, we got a bad story, but, like, fourth identity project down our throats. You want that part of the Iceman. The whole Iceman comic. That comic was full of the garbage at night funny. Like, that comic was just bad. I mean, really bad. Like, holy shit, it was awful. Um, what's the next? The old Dan Star Man Spider Man. Like, you already know why I, I don't like Dan Star Spider Man. I had a book when they want one when Space Spider Man. But you know what? Good thing is he's leaving, so I'm not gonna talk about the book that long anyway. So, I'm glad that that book is basically ending. Oh, it's not ending, it's getting a new writer. But, still. Point, point is, I'm tired of yesterday, but you really Marvel. And, I just want good Marvel comics again. With all that said, though, Jordan did hope with the future of Marvel comics. Well, with, well, with Tom, not Tom Boover, with um, Axel Alonso, he's gone. So, and even when Sky turned over, maybe there is some hope. But, until we get more information on it, until we know what that even when Sky is doing, I'm not gonna hold my breath, at least not yet. And then, so it's gone by me and Spider Man, that's the good news, so he's off that book, thank God. And he's gonna 
will go in Iron Man. Okay, that's progress. America got cancelled, Iron Man got cancelled, um, Nick Spencer, say what we with Nick Spencer, I don't think Nick Spencer, I think Nick Spencer is fine, but the problem was Captain America and well, it wasn't SJW, it wasn't far from it. It was controversial in a lot of reasons, and <laughs> the way that Nessie Empire ended, you may know my thoughts on that. It was bad, but point is, what did I'm just gonna hope for the future and just pray to God that all the SJW books have been cancelled because I can't take the stuff anymore. This, this terminology just gonna piss me off, and I'm I'm, I'm just. It's just driving me insane how, how bad that the, the stuff is getting. What's it? What's it? Hope for the bad and pray for the Marvel gets better and pray to God with Tom Boomer, he leaves and next we find get rid of the um, Joe Kasaya. Which I doubt it, but who knows. Anyways, I'm going to have to send this over because this is getting long, way too long. So, alright. Final thoughts on SCW and Marvel. What did hold the band plan for the worst and pray to God that Marvel fixing themselves before it's too late? Because finally, I want the weak good Marvel comments again, like on the movie and the movie and some other book. Thing is, Ben is gone, so he's, like, he's going to sue man, which that's not a topic I'm going to so, but what did hope for the best? One, one more thing. After the whole diversity stuff, Marvel. Your problem is not diversity, you moron. It, it, with bad writing. Fix your books. That's all I'm saying. There we go. Now, go to my blog on XJW Marvel as a whole. I'm pretty kind of what you think about the instant in, in topic. Do I get to read it? Also, what's up being on this whole uh, topic? Please comment down below. Also, I can please follow me on Twitter. Please just comment down below. Follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you guys next time. Long live Marvel. See ya. Bye.